Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year. Uh, today is 3rd January 2025 and today is my first video. Yeah, my first video. And we are still on our series of learning capture one. The last time I taught you how to color grade light skin this particular image. Yeah. And this one and today I would like to show you how I export my pictures from capture one yeah I export my pictures from capture one and it's very easy and I have made a particular settings on it is a normal settings the capture one has given out I just mix up small changes to my preference so every time I just use the same settings and nothing so that's the same settings i use when i whenever uh, i export an image to post on instagram so it's nothing difficult that uh, or something different i do to make my image sharp on instagram or what that's how i save to clients and that's how i save to post on instagram yeah okay so what I mostly do is, so this is the image. So if in case you want to export all this image here, you have to select all of them. Okay, if you select one, it's only one that you're going to export. But when you select all, you are going to export all of it. Okay, let's say I want to export this. I want to export this one. And I want to export this as well okay so what i'll do is is either you come here export which will open this dialog for you but for me with my welcome tablet i have made a settings on it which when i press the button it just open this one for me it makes the work more easier and easier for me yeah. and the at the export page they'll give you a our exports recipe which receives which is going to help you and guide you there are others who go for the 2048 for web use which normally people do it on Inst uh, people do it on Photoshop yeah most people do it most photographers do it on Photoshop and you have the full size and highest quality you have the Instagram optimized we have the quick proof preview size. We have the TIFF. We have the another TIFF of different, different the PSD and everything. What I mostly use or what I use all the time is the full size highest quality. That's what I use. Okay. And it's, it's my go-to one. I don't know what you are. At first, I used to use this one, but whenever I zoom in the image, in a normal what I've exported, it's, it's kind of a little blurry. And I don't want my image to look that. Yeah. When you give a, an image to a client, the, when the client zoom in, it looks a little blurry. But when it's out, it's a little sharp. Yeah. I don't want that. I want my image to be zoomed in and still have the quality of it. So whenever you find your image, all these things, this one ticks, this one tick. That means that when you're going to export, it's going to export all these three settings in your folder, exported folder. Yes. So you need to be very careful when trying to export. Yes. So what I'll do is whenever any any of this is ticked, remove to remain to remain the one that you want. The one that you want. And th there you go. And the location, you have to locate where your you want to export your image to and the, your subfolder maybe you want to create a so what i've done is i created a folder on my desktop which is ig and i learned from my boss yeah so whoever i edit his pictures so let's say maybe let's say this one is capture one so the subfolder i name it capture one Capture one. Okay. So capture one. This is it. 
I don't do anything here. Okay. The naming, I don't do anything to it. The format. So here is the thing. Most people increase to 100%. And 100% is going to give you a larger size. Let's say if I increase this one to 100%. Now the size of the summary is 17 megabytes. So exporting like 1,000 images, which has 17 megabytes, and even posting it on Instagram is going to reduce the quality. And posting on WhatsApp is going to reduce the quality. So you do, you do not want to give it a, big, a very big size so that it takes space on your phone or it takes space on your machine that you are using to edit. Okay, try that. Yeah. So you reduce this to the, the minimum amount that is going to help you. That is it, yeah. So we are done. And what you are supposed to do, is, so after this is done, I normally leave this on. And you always have to try to maintain the sRGB color profile, okay, and maintain the general resolution. I don't do anything here. I don't do anything here. Apart from this, that the quality that I changed to my preference, I don't do anything again. Then what I do is I go to exports. Then it will export and give me a notification here that is done. So after the export, so give me a notification here that that is done okay sometimes you see sometimes you don't see it yeah. so let me go back let me get to ig that's on my desktop let's find where the picture is so capture one it was capitalized capture one here's the image here's the image we exported okay one funny thing about Capture One is that you can export this image when, when it's the image is like thousand or two thousand. While you are export, you can edit an, another images, okay? And you can export different images into a different folders. Let's say if I want to export this, I will export while this one is export, maybe it's like a two thousand, which is going to take a very long time. And I'm done with another pictures. I can also export that one, and it will go into a specific folder as you have described when you are trying to export you get it yeah it's though it is not something difficult when exported okay yeah you try that so that is it thank you guys for watching bring more comments and more ideas so that i teach you like share comment and let's see Peace out.